Hello, everyone. We are Q Percussion. We're a percussion quartet hailing from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, I'm Nick Bruce, and I'm currently coming at you from Greenville, South Carolina. Hey, I'm Baldwin, and I am in Knoxville, Tennessee right now. Hello, I'm Morgan, and I'm in Weaverville, North Carolina. And I'm Christian, and I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. So I hope you all enjoyed the piece you just heard. It is called Barrier, and it was written by our very own Christian Swafford. So Christian, do you mind just speaking a little bit about your piece? Yeah, of course. Um, so Barrier basically started um, because I had all of this time on, on my hands, uh, which all of us did at the start of this kind of isolation quarantine period. Um, and it was kind of tough to figure out ways to stay creative. Our, our ensemble actually had a performance lined up that got canceled, and it would have been our first uh, live performance. So we were kind of, you know, battling with this idea of, of staying creative and working together and um, but uh, trying to work through doing that um, in a remote environment was was tough. And so this piece was kind of a reflection of the emotions uh, and feelings involved with with that struggle, uh, particularly at the beginning of the pandemic, as we tried to work through things. Um, and so you kind of hear these repeated patterns in the piece, particularly at the beginning that are woven through uh, pretty dissonant. And that represents this barrier that we were kind of struggling to fight against this barrier, this isolation barrier. Uh, and then eventually, you know, we, we break through that and we get a little more tonal, a little more jovial, a little more creative, and, and we're able to do some projects together and, and uh, finally get the ball rolling. Um, but we're always reminded, and the piece kind of ends this way, that, that that barrier still exists right now. And then we kind of always have to keep moving one foot forward. And, and um, um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that as we go on. Uh, so first, we're going to talk about how we made our ensemble work remotely. Then we're going to get into how we try to delve a lot more into interdisciplinary collaboration. Uh, we're going to talk about our tag project, which was the first thing we tried to do to stay creative together. Um, and then Nick's going to kind of walk you through how we did that and see if uh, you can't do your own. So, uh, Baldwin, do you want to talk about how we uh, started working remotely? Yeah. So the biggest obvious problem uh, with being able to try and get these ideas to happen from all of our different locations is, well, we can't get together to actually make music like we know, like we used to before COVID. Um, so it was a challenge for us to be able to try and get everything to happen uh, using the technologies and whatever resources we had available to us. And so all of our earlier projects were actually kind of like off of our phones. Um, and then later on, we started reaching out to some of our friends and some of our colleagues and Googled and YouTubed all these videos to try and figure out how we can start learning how to use logic and final cut. But ultimately you don't necessarily need fancy technology to be able to make music with your friends in these difficult times. You can use your phone, whatever you have readily available to you, anything that might be free, everything is a Google search away. And so um, if I can partake any um, piece of knowledge for you guys, it would just be to really try and make the best of the situation that you've got and use the time now if you have been aching to try and dive into logic do it and you don't necessarily need to use the logic as well like i said garage man is free um whatever you've got available to you nothing can actually stop you from making music with your friends and um yeah morgan's going to talk a little bit more about how we've been making music with some of our new friends yeah so um we had a lot of people reach out to us uh, after we started doing our tag projects and people were in the same predicament in um, different mediums, actually, um, especially dance, actually. That's what we've been um, getting asked to do. It's just um, composing music, original uh, music to uh, for dance companies. And um, that's been a really rewarding experience for, um, I know for all of us, just because um, I know usually primarily we only work with um, 
other instrumentalists like honestly we only really like we're a percussion quartet so we're all percussionists we know how to play with other percussionists but it gets um even more interesting when you start to play with a cello player or a trumpet player or anyone else that's our percussion and then when you start to work with um people in other art mediums like dance or painters it becomes a lot more fun that way because um you start to find out that you can combine all of these different ideas with each other and they think of art in a completely different way and we think of art in a completely different way and it still falls under that umbrella but it can all still work really well together and cohesively so um um after that uh we're gonna show one of our tag videos um we call it tag number two and i believe nick started this one and then he passed it to um, someone in the group and then someone else and then someone else and we eventually just put it all together all of our creative minds of composition and um, here it is everyone now it's your turn to try a tag it can be a pretty simple project if you have the right tools but it can also be very fun and very fulfilling uh, some things you will need are a video or audio recording device such as a phone a camera if you have one or even a microphone if you have one uh, some type of video or audio editing software um, like logic or audacity even GarageBand, like baldwin mentioned earlier or something like imovie as well and your creativity uh, once one person creates a musical idea they will share with their, their friends and the following players will then contribute and layer their own creations one at a time. You'll be amazed to see what kind of creations you and your peers can come up with and what kind of creativity you can draw from each other through such a simple process. So we really hope you enjoyed what we had to say and what we um, played for you all. And uh, we have to give a huge thank you to Chris, Taylor, Dobos and Sean for reaching out to us, um, for allowing us to be a part of this amazing Austin Percussion Festival, and it's truly an honor to be along with the other people who are a part of this festival. So we hope to see some of your um, tag videos soon. That should be really exciting for us. And feel free to share any of that with us. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And thank you all so much for having us.